Capaldi to our strange wee studio tonight. Hello, Peter. Hello, Edith. How are you? I'm not bad at all. How are you? Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me? Yeah. Awesome. I, I like your guitars in the background. Do you play music at home? Has that been keeping you sane? I play a wee bit. I try. I, 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 I come up here and uh, I should really be reading important texts and, and learning life instead of just playing old T Rex songs. Oh, nice. Good choices. <laughs> um, how have you been? You okay? I'm good. Yeah. I mean, the, you know, we're very, very fortunate in what we are. Um, I, I'm, my life basically is largely on things because I spend most of my time avoiding people anyway. So <laughs> largely what I do is I just stay at home. The only difference is that there's just some pleasantness um, outside and also there's, there's no work. But it's, I actually find that I'm... You know, I'm meeting more people than, than I would normally because you can't really hide from people when there's all this Zoom business going on because they know where you are. Yeah. They know that you're in. So I suddenly find that I'm chatting to a lot of my pals who I haven't seen for quite a while, which is sweet. Which is nice. Yeah. It's a nice thing, isn't it? I think that's a thing. It's kind of reconnecting a lot of people that, that, that you know, might have lost. Weirdly, that kind of isolation is almost kind of it, is making a better connection with people a lot of the time, I think, as well. I think it's great. The way that people are beginning to recognize what's valuable really. yeah absolutely yeah you've picked something really special because when i when i asked you if you you wanted to come on board it was lovely because you got back in touch and said could i could i read something and i was like absolutely what would you what are you going to read could you tell us a little bit about why you why you picked this particular author and piece really well this is uh, uh something from uh, the late great wonderful american uh, novelist Kurt vonnegut uh, and Kurt Vonnegut uh, wrote, wrote Slaughterhouse Five and lots of other uh, incredible books. But he was also very well known as somebody who would be asked to go along to graduation ceremonies at American colleges. And he would mm -hmm. pep talks to the, to the students when they were all, all just graduates. And he was a great humanist and a great, you know, he'd been through the war. He was really wise and clever. Uh, and I just wanted to read a little um, extract. Please. Uh, Please. And it's really about valuing things, I think. I think we're, you know, we've seen so clearly now that, 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 that who's really important in our society are the people who are doing all this work for us. You know, obviously the people that are at the front line with the NHS, but, you know, the bin men and the bus drivers and, and, and the policemen and the, and the firemen and the teachers, all the teachers were still out there, you know, teaching uh, key workers' kids. They're just amazing. So mm. we're so lucky to have them. Uh, it's good that we, we see that they are the really important people in our society. So here we are. This is from Cut Body. <clears throat> Every graduation pet talk I've ever given has ended with words about my father's kid brother, Alex Falk, a Harvard educated insurance agent in Indianapolis who was well read and wise. Uncle Alex. One of the things that he found objectionable about human beings was that they so rarely noticed it when they were happy. He himself did his best to acknowledge it when time. We could be drinking lemonade in the shade of an apple tree in the summertime, and Uncle Alex would interrupt the conversation to say, This isn't nice. Well, so I hope that you will do the same for the rest of your life. When things are going smoothly and peacefully, please pause a moment and then say out loud that this is a nice boy. Let that be the motto of your class. If this is a nice, what is? Now, that's one favor I've asked of you. Now I ask of you another. I ask it not only of the graduates, but of everyone here, parents and teachers as well. I want a show of hands after I ask this question. How many of you had a teacher at any level of your education who made you more excited to be alive, prouder to be alive, than you were previously believed Hold up your hands, please. Now, take down your hands and say the name of that teacher to someone else 
and tell them what that teacher did for you. All done? If this isn't nice, what is? Ah, oh, that was brilliant. Thank you so, so, so much. You're welcome. Really appreciate you taking the time to do that for us. Um, that's just yeah, beautiful. Days. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do this every week. Oh God, I'm not sure about that. Um, listen, it's really nice as well. I've just had a, this is lovely. This is coming from Derek, um, and he is a uh, works for Blood Bike Scotland, who are a volunteer charity group who provide a free service to the NHS in Fife, making sure that blood's getting around to to people, uh, you know, in, in situ desperate situations as well. So big shout out to him and all his colleagues as well. Thank you very much for sending that in. Um, Peter, thank you so much for your time. Um, take care, and okay. yeah, we'll speak to you soon. You take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.